Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to access our new MemSQL Deploy user interface. This interface sits on top of our existing management tools, MemSQL tools. As you can see, I'm logged into my terminal here. This is, I'm inside a EC2 instance. This is where I'm going to be installing MemSQL packages on, and eventually one of the hosts from our MemSQL cluster. So to start, we have to install the MemSQL packages on this host. I have a Red Hat distribution, so I'm going to follow the, those instructions. This first step simply adds a MemSQL repository. The second step will actually install the required packages, which include MemSQL toolbox, where we can access the UI from. Great, it looks like all the packages installed successfully. Now, the third step here is to simply run the command to access the UI, which is MemSQL-deploy UI. As you can see, this prompts me with a few pieces of information. It tells me that it's going to start a server with the following properties. It gives me an authentication token for security purposes, which will expire in one day, and lets me know that after installation, the server will shut down in 30 minutes. I'm going to accept this with yes. Now, as you can see, this serves me a link. This is a link that we will use to access the UI. Note that it has the secure to token from the previous prompt appended to it. So you'll copy this link. The one thing you do have to make note of is, in this case, the host information defaults to localhost, but you will need to replace that with the host name that you are running this UI from. So I'm going to copy my AWS host name and then put it in the place of localhost. Great. As you can see, this is the first page of the UI, and you can use these steps to install a MemSQL cluster. Tune into the next video in this series to see how to, how to use this UI to install a MemSQL cluster in a few easy steps. Thank you for watching.